I briefly showed earlier that noise is pretty good at making percussion sounds, and one of my favorite tricks actually is to feed noise through a module like a low-pass gate, a VCA and a filter combined, and just trigger that from some pattern generator to create some interesting retro modular percussion sounds. I've changed the patch again, obviously. I am driving my Knight's Gallop pattern generator from the LFO, so the LFO changes my rate. I have its two trigger outputs going into the strike input on two channels of the LXD. The top channel tends to be a shorter decay, and the bottom channel tends to be a longer decay. And I've got them both going out through my mixer, boosting each channel times two, because I know the sound output on my SSF is rather low, and feeding those to the left and right channels on my output module. Let's go ahead and start with a um, kick first, because I love kick drums. I will typically start with something like a pink or red noise, something that is more focused in the low frequencies already. For example, pink noise into my slower decaying low pass gate channel. Creates this nice sort of um, thunder sheet sound. Let's speed up the tempo a bit. That still has a fair amount of strike tone or high frequencies. If I go to red, which has more high end roll off, that's a nice low sound. And remember, gray was a mixture of low and high frequencies. That's a nice big kick drum sound with still with a little bit of strike tone. Okay, let's go work on the high frequencies. I'm gonna pull that for now not to distract us. Go into the short decay side, my LXD. And for high frequency sounds like hi-hats, etc., I prefer things that have more of a high frequency content, like white noise. That's a nice, short, sharp, snare-type sound. If I wanted more body, I could go to pink noise, which has a high-end roll-off. Or if I wanted to have even more high-frequency content, I'd go to blue noise, which has more of the lows rolled off. I could also play around with doing a glitch sound, taking the quanta out. Now, of course, these are just my general tendencies. You can break the rules. You can use a slow decay on a bright sound to create a big snare. And you can use a short decay on something like red to create a very tight kick. Try some different modes here, different patterns. I kind of like a booming kick myself and a tight little high frequency sound for my snare hi hat. So that's another classic use of a noise module, particularly one with several different colors inside your system.